All right, it's been a while since I put out a video, so today we're gonna go over the Z stage of my CNC mill that I've been building. It starts off with some two by one inch aluminum bar that I cut down to size on my horizontal bandsaw. I then made some MDF holders for the bars to mill out the parts that are actually gonna become the risers that take the bearings off the Z plate to make clearance for the ball screw. Next, I created this template here to put punch transfers in the bottom of the bars in order to make the holes that will attach to the Z plate. Uh, you'll notice the arrow, that's because in case these holes aren't accurate, I'll at least do all the bars in the same general direction so they will at least line up to themselves. I then marked an arrow on the piece itself just to be safe and then assembled the whole bearing system. I also then made a test MDF Z plate uh, to test out the positioning of the risers and the bearings I'd already built from another video. Once that was looking good, I made another holder out of MDF for the Z plate. It was a 3 quarter inch aluminum 6061. Next up is the actual beam for the Z stage. It's made out of extruded aluminum, the 8020 stuff. I believe this is 3060. It's 3 inches by 6 inches. The piece I got was a bit long, it was 3 feet exactly, and I needed to cut a little bit off the horizontal bandsaw in order to accommodate my ball screw. Now the rails themselves are just cold rolled steel, quarter inch thick, 2 inches wide. I drilled a bunch of uh, 5 16 holes and attached them to inside there with T-nuts. Um, and I made these MDF guides to try to make sure everything was perfectly aligned because I noticed if it wasn't then the bearings weren't making contact and that's kind of a flaw in this design. I made them out of MDF. MDF is just not the strongest material so I moved on and welded some uh, guides out of just some throwaway hot rolled steel that I had to make everything line up perfectly and clamp it down when I went to go fasten down all the bolts. I also had to make these risers for the ends of the ball screw to attach the beam. This is where the bearings on either end go. I made one for the bottom out of MDF and then machined it in aluminum. Same thing at the top, MDF, aluminum. And here we have the actual motor mount for the Z stage. It's underhung. I did a test in MDF first, of course, because I'm not really good enough to go straight in and do aluminum on an intricate part like this. And the main reason I underhung the motor, you'll see it's just a one-to-one -one belt ratio with the pulleys, it's not really doing anything, um, is because of just the limitations of the room that this thing's going to be in. Um, after a while, if you have like eight, nine foot ceilings, you're going to run out of room. I then created yet another MDF holder to hold the plate in while I machined it. And mainly the reason I did this is because I don't trust my current machine and I'm not really good at squaring things or tramming things so I basically just tram a pocket of MDF that way I know it's perfectly parallel to the tool and then also I know that the lines when the wood's bolted down are going to be straight to the way the machine actually moves. It worked out pretty good but uh, people out there are more skilled with better machines probably wouldn't have to go through so much effort. And here it is again fully assembled. Um, everything seemed to work out pretty well and I just had to do a couple tests. The first test I did was with just a cheapo Ryobi power drill that I had. Um, this was just to make sure everything was nice and even, nothing was binding, going all the way down, going all the way back up. The clamping system seemed to work well, and I think the key was that I clamped the far ends of each rail, then the center, and then in between the center and the far ends, so on and so forth, just constantly dividing down, making sure that everything was perfectly even all the way down. And then the next test was just hooking up an 18 volt battery directly to the motor, probably not the smartest thing in the world. I'm not an electronics expert. Um, but yeah, it seemed to work pretty well, pretty happy. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I don't really pay too much attention to the comments on YouTube, but if you have any questions, just mosey on over to thunderdork.com and I'll see what I can do. Alright, see you later.